Well, obviously, the hope is highly effective uh, uh, medication. And so what we're really looking for is something that is as close to curative as possible with a very long tail, which is to say that you do it once you really are getting benefits for five years, 10 years, 15 years, because that's the big open question is the length of the effectiveness of any of these therapies. But the hope is that you'll have something that can be administered once and will provide at least a decade or more of effectiveness. I have concerns about period reactions as a former payer myself across all the different types of gene therapy because we're entering uncharted waters and we don't know exactly how we're going to amortize the cost of very expensive therapies. The therapies that have been approved to date are all seven-figure therapies, and we don't necessarily have a great mechanism right now of tracking patients over time to see how much of that benefit is accruing and to whom it should accrue. So we need to figure out as payers different ways to accrue or escrow or find ways to get third parties to manage that interaction.